Hi friends, welcome to Nareshai Technologies. Today, let us discuss a new concept called boats and streams. Now, this boats and streams is a subtopic of time and distance. So, we use the same concepts used in time and distance to solve this problem along with some new terms. Now, what are the terms generally we find in this concept? Now, in this concept, generally we find two terms. The first one is upstream. Now, what is upstream? Travelling opposite to the flow of a stream is upstream. Next, the next term we find in this chapter is downstream. Now, what is downstream? Travelling along with the flow of the stream is downstream. Now, coming to the formulas. Now, if the speed of a boat in still water is x kilometers per hour, speed of boat in still water is x kilometers per hour and if the speed of stream is y kilometers per hour, then speed of boat upstream will be equal to x minus y kilometers per hour and speed of boat downstream should be equal to x plus y kilometers per hour. Now, it is a simple common sense how we get this values. Suppose a boat is travelling in still water at x kilometers per hour and the water is flowing opposite to the boat. Definitely the speed of boat decreases. That is why speed of the boat upstream when speed of the boat in still water is x and speed of the stream is y would be x minus y. And if the boat travels along with the flow of the stream, definitely the speed of the boat should increase. So, that is the reason speed of the boat downstream should be x plus y kilometers per hour. Now, let us take some examples, small examples and try to solve the problems. The first question, the speed of a boat in still water is 7 kilometers per hour and the speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour. What is the time taken by the boat to travel 40 kilometers downstream? Now, here we are given the speed of the boat in still water and we are also given the speed of the stream. Along with that, we are asked to find the time taken by the boat to travel 40 kilometers downstream. Now, we know that generally time is equal to distance by speed. Now, what is the distance the boat has to travel? It has to travel 40 kilometers, but this 40 kilometers is not in still water this boat has to travel 40 kilometers downstream. So, definitely the speed of the boat downstream should be taken into consideration which should be 7 plus 3. So, 40 by 10 which is 4 hours. So, the time taken by the boat to travel 40 kilometers downstream would be 4 hours. If suppose here instead of asking us to find what is the time taken by the boat to travel 40 kilometers downstream. If it was asked what is the time taken by the boat to travel same 40 kilometers upstream, then our answer would be like this time equal to distance by speed 40 by. So, the distance to be travelled is 40 kilometers, but now if suppose it is given as upstream, then I need to consider speed of the boat upstream which is 7 minus 3. So, 40 by 4 answer would be 10 hours. So, the time taken by the boat to travel 40 kilometers downstream would be 4 hours. If suppose it is asked with respect to upstream, then the time taken by the boat to travel upstream should be 10 hours. Now, let us look into one more question. Now, let us look into the second problem. The speed of a boat upstream is 8 kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat downstream is 12 kilometers per hour. Find the speed of the boat 
in still water. Now, we are given the speed of the boat upstream that is x minus y if x is the speed of the boat in still water and y is the speed of the stream. So, speed of the boat upstream should be x minus y which is 8 kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat downstream should be x plus y which is 12 kilometers per hour and we are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water that is we are asked to find what is the value of x. Definitely to find the value of x eliminate y. So, add the two equations we add two equations 2x equal to 20 x equal to 10. So, the speed of the boat in still water is 10 kilometers per hour. Now, let us look into the next problem. Now, let us look into the third problem. The speed of a boat upstream is 10 kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat downstream is 16 kilometers per hour. Find the time taken by the boat to travel 52 kilometers in still water. Now, here we are asked to find the time taken by the boat to travel 52 kilometers in still water. To tell the answer for this question, definitely first of all we need to find what is the speed of the boat in still water and the given information for us is the speed of the boat upstream which is x minus y equal to 10 kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat downstream is 16 kilometers per hour that is x plus y equal to 16 kilometers per hour. Now, add the two equations we get 2 x equal to 26 x equal to 13. So, the speed of the boat in still water is 13 kilometers per hour and we are asked to find the time taken by the boat to travel 52 kilometers in still water. Now, to find the time taken by the boat time is distance by speed and the distance to be travelled is 52 kilometers in still water. So, speed of the boat in still water is 13. So, 52 by 13 our answer is 4 hours. So, this is how we can solve this particular problem. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.